Double click on part operation.1 and that'll bring up the part operation window. We can rename the part dot part operation.1 and we can also add additional comments to describe our part operation. I'm going to put in advanced lesson 5 prismatic machining. And then notice uh, down at the product icon I have housing.1 as I underline it right here. That's what we want. It automatically put it there when we open up that prismatic machining workbench with the product. Now we want to go to the machine editor icon and that'll open up the machine editor window. All the default settings except this one is okay. We want to make sure that the NC data type is APT and just verify that all the other settings are okay. For the uh, post processor word table we do want to select the last one in the drop down menu. Here we have the tool change tab and the spindle tab with several parameters that we can change. This is okay. Now we want to go and set up the reference machining access. And here we have the origin. So click on the origin. And then now notice Katia is prompting you to select a point to define the origin and we're going to select this point right here that will be our machining axis. Now if the axes are the wrong way we can always change that but that looks good. Now we're going to select the housing icon and we're going to Uh, double click. It's prompting us to double click. So I'm going to double click on the housing one. Then I'm going to click away and that'll bring up the part operation. So we'll do the same thing with the stock icon. So I'm going to double click on stock one part and then I'm going to click out of that area and it'll open up the part operation. And notice I have stock slash stock one. Now I'm going to select the safety plane and then I'm going to select the top surface and then right click and then off select offset and I'm going to offset it to one inch and notice it was one inch. Here I have a position tab and an option tab. I'm not going to change any parameters here. So right now our pot or part operation should be complete and we're ready to move on to defining other prismatic machining attributes.